If your subtitles look something like this, then what I'm about to teach you is going to blow your mind. As a matter of fact, the subtitles we will make today will improve your viewer retention, your viewer engagement, and the quality of your videos. Like I'm talking the difference between day and night, and it's all going to be extremely simple. So enough talking, let's get straight into it. Before we do anything, we need to know what our text style is. This will depend on what kind of content you're making. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to teach you three of the most famous text styles. That way you'll get to pick which one you want to use, depending on the kind of content you're making. I'll show you how to make this gaming animated pop-up text style, this motivational video text style, and this Alex Hormozy text style. By the way, just skip to the timestamp of the style you want to use. But to make these, first we'll need to create our text. So let's open up Premiere, and I'm just gonna drag in this background. Now that we have that, I'm gonna press T and go to my screen and write whatever I want. Now this creates this text graphic layer, which I'm just going to drag on top of my background. This is probably what your subtitles look like right now. Let's go ahead and fix it. No, that's a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and press T and highlight the actual text. Go over here to the left, scroll down till you can find text. Click this arrow to open up the actual text. And let's go ahead and change a few settings. The first thing I want to change, which is probably the most important one, is my font. For gaming videos, I'd like to use a thick font. So for this one, I'm just going to be using mod. The next thing I'll be doing is going down to where it says stroke and adding a black stroke. And then changing the size to something like 12. But what the heck? Yeah, maybe a bit more like 14. Then I'll just add a background shadow, make it black, make the opacity 100%. Maybe create a tiny bit of distance, increase the size a tiny bit, and add a good amount of blur. Just so that it looks good. And there we go. Our text actually looks nice now. So now what we'll do is we'll just center align it so that whatever we write will always stay in the center, as you can see right here. I'm gonna select the text, I'm gonna hold control, and I'm gonna drag it into the center. Once it's aligned with the center, we could move on to our animation. So to make this pop-up animation, we'll be using an effect called transform. So let's go to our effects tab and search up transform. Take the effect and apply it directly to the text. I'll scroll down and select the anchor point and just align it with the center of the text. Now we just go down to the shutter angle and bump it up to 360, which is going to give it a nice motion blur. And then we're going to go to the beginning of our text. Over here, I'm going to keyframe the scale. So I'm going to click the stopwatch to create a keyframe, and I'll set the scale at something like 60. Then I'm going to move around 7 or 8 frames forward. And then I'm going to change the scale to something like 110. And then we'll move 4 frames forward again, and we'll change the scale back down to something like 90. Now I want to zoom in on these keyframes, select all of them, right click, and click ease in. This will make sure that they are smooth. And if we play it back, let's just see how this looks we've made this very simple pop-up animation and this is what it would look like in a gaming video thank me later or just like the video now for motivational text it's actually very simple so just as before i'm gonna drag in the background then i'll click t and create the text now with these subtitles i'd like to fit in more words into the screen so i'm just gonna first off change the scale down to something like 60. then i'm just gonna center align it and then put it at the center of the screen now i'll just go down and add a stroke that's black but i'm gonna make this a very very tiny stroke so something like two or three then i'm gonna add a background shadow i'm actually gonna push the blur all the way up make the distance a lot smaller and drop the opacity down to something like 90. Now for this kind of text, I'll want to use a simple font. Something like Open Sans just does the job. Wow! Beautiful! And change the scale down to something like 50 or 40. And actually with these, you could actually select some of the words. Like for example, here I'm going to select work and change the color to something vibrant. So like red. And this is what it'll look like. So I'll drag in this podcast clip from Joe Rogan and we'll create our text. So let's highlight the text and first up I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna be using a font called Hevitas, which is this thick font that's also minimalistic at the same time, which is just perfect for the Alex Homosi style. So now I'll add a stroke and change the size to something like seven. It has to be very tiny. And then I'll add a background shadow. Change the opacity to 100% and drop the blur just enough so that you can actually see the shadow. So I'm gonna move the text over to somewhere that's lighter. Joe Rogan's forehead is just perfect. And I'll drop the blur down just about enough until I can actually see it. So now I'm obviously gonna center align it, then put it at the center of my screen. So for this style, Alex Hormozzi actually does something special. For every statement that you listen, you wanna split it up into the important parts, and you wanna highlight the important parts using the size of the text and the actual color. Uh, you'll see what I mean right now. So let's go ahead and listen to what Joe Rogan says. And the guy gives him a bag. So the first statement is, and the guy gives him a bag. We'll add the text on top of the statement, and we'll write it out. So we'll write, and the guy on one line gives him a bag on another. 
So when he says and the guy, I'm actually just gonna cut the text right there because that's our first statement. And what we'll do here is we'll select the important words, something like guy, and we'll change the color to something vibrant like green. And then we'll select the entire line and we'll increase the scale up to something like 120. And then for the rest of the statement, we'll select the important words where he says gives him a bag, choose a vibrant color like red. I'm just gonna decrease the size of the first statement down to something like 80. For the first part, I'll also decrease the size of the first statement. Now we'll just need to add emojis. So we'll go to a website like Emojipedia and we'll have an emoji for a guy and a bag. Let's search up man. Lord have mercy, I'm about to burst. And we'll get an emoji for a bag. Yep, let's zoom. And where he says and the guy, I'll just have the emoji of the man somewhere like on top of the text or below it. And where he says gives him a bag, I'll just have the emoji of the bag. Maybe increase the size and maybe give a tiny bit of rotation to the text. So something like four degrees. And now I'll just do this for the rest of the clip. And this is what you'll end up with. The guy gives him a bag and then he left the bag at the top. And that right there is the Alex Homozi style. So if you've watched this far, I want to say thanks a lot for watching till the end of the video. Go ahead and leave a comment if you found this useful. And share it with anyone that wants to learn Premiere. Like the video, check out all the socials down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.